Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full makeup look with my absolute favourites ever. So my favourite concealer, favourite foundation, favourite palette, even down to favourite beauty blender, favourite brushes, everything. So this is literally what, if somebody said take one of each item to like a desert island, these are the things that I would bring. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to prime my skin with my MUA pro base primer oil so i've already prepped my skin i've got a video on um my favorite skincare prep before makeup i'm just gonna a drop here a drop here i don't use a lot really it's just to prep my skin to can be ready because my favorite primer is quite sticky i like to have a nice like hydrated base so you have something to stick on rather than having like a dry base so when you put on the primer it's got nothing to stick on so my favorite primer is the milk hydro grip primer i actually use one square and just do one two even half a square will do me a lot and i like to pack my primer into my face and not swipe because i don't want to move all the product around i do get some of my eyes as well just close my eyes i don't know if you can hear me but whatever you can't hear i'm going to put at the description i'm going to do some voiceovers and don't forget the nose i think this is my first time doing a full video with a talk through i know some people can do i don't know how people do get ready with me's and they have a chat like oh, i don't know how to do that so if i go quiet it's because i'm concentrating i've got my mirror just there by the way so i have to you know i've got a small hand one right here right this isn't cheating this is actually how my favorite foundation there's two because i like my skin shade is the mixture of the both of them i got the wrong fenty foundation i went to um monaco and i went to the sephora there and i got the wrong this is filthy by the way sorry i got the wrong foundation shade when i ordered my juvia's i got the wrong foundation shade and everyone knows ordering juvia's place is a nightmare because it's in america or you get it from beauty bear they don't have much and then when it comes here you get custom charges it's a nightmare so juvia's place sort that out so we can get some stuff here fenty i can't be bothered to get another one because i can just make my shade with the two of these i like the finish of this i like the finish of this i like the two of them together the, the, my favorite combination i have one other favorite foundation actually which is the nyx can't stop won't stop which is my exact shade but i my favorite finish altogether of foundation is these two i like to set my primers i've let it sit for just a minute i like to set my primer with my favorite powder ever which is a huda beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder my shade what does that say kunafa again another favorite of mine is this brush it's a real techniques um buffing brush i like to set my primer with it doesn't leave too much product on my skin but it's just enough that it's just holds the primer to now i have very oily skin which is why i set my primer if you've watched any of my previous videos i, set, I talk about setting my primer day in day out because if i don't i'm going to be in an oil slick by like 10 o'clock my favorite foundation brush again juvie's place not entirely clean but sorry and i'm the cleaner of washing brushes but i only used it once so this is it this is a very thick buffing brush and i normally take one square of the fenty and one splodge of the juvie's and just see that coverage of that um of this juvia's it's the most pigmented foundation that i own personally i was probably low the foundations that are more pigmented but for me there is nothing that comes close even close to juvia's pigmentation hmm. look at that and i do tend to go a bit darker with foundation because i don't like when highlighter is too bright because it looks like your whole face can look too light and i'm not a fan of too much foundation on the forehead so i only do a tiny bit I do whatever's left on the brush and I'll come back a lot blend that a little bit more my trusted beauty blender this is from Primark and this is my favourite beauty blender I think it's £1.50 for two this one is a different shape and I like I love this one I'll just take that it goes into the skin a little bit more I'm a tea drinker so I have like four cups of tea a day I know that's bad but my favourite concealer is the Too Faced Born This Way multi what is multi use sculpting concealer I got the shade Butterscotch and now I let that sit on there when I do my eyebrows take my Benefit what's this one Benefit Gimme Brow Gel Same on the other side. 
conceal my brows with the same concealer. But I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Fenty foundation so it's not too bright. Not my best work. Let's take my favourite facial spray, which is a Mario Badescu rose with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is what I blend my feeler with. my foundation brush and just then for the nose I just press of course to bake my Huda obviously I have baking stages as well so I take over a tiny bit of fur make sure that the because it's completely dry then I take so I set and then I bake I hope that makes sense. And then, by the way, it's hard doing this without music. Now, I hardly contour, but when I do, I like to use my Juvie's Place. Um, this is the concealer, and this is the shade 3. It's really dark and really pigmented, so I literally use like a dab at the end of a brush. That's it. And even then, I tidy it up a little bit like this. You need to find the straight line. When I, I, I really meant to when I said only a little bit because it is really pigmented, so. Give me make me look slimmer than I actually am. It's a lie. To set my foundation, I take a Revolution matte base powder in the shade P13. I just take a little bit like this. And it does keep it super matte base as well. I do a little bit of the forehead, but the main attraction really is all these little bits here. Now, funny enough, if you check my chest, it's going to be a little bit lighter, but we'll get there. If you find that you can't use a uh, blending, beauty blender, just take a brush and do a bit of this onto the neck. I never forget the neck because it gives all of us away with bad makeup is the, the neck and this bit too. Get behind your ear if you have to go. That's it for skin for now. So I'm going to start my favourite eye look, which is my favourite palette. But the one that I like to use the most is the Morphe Times James Charles palette. But when you look at all the colours, I mean, and my favourite eye looks to do is smogged out dramatic glitter. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start it here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. That wasn't even too much work. Got a smaller brush. I'm going to take a darker brown to it. And I'm going to come right here, just above the crease and where I start to crease. I'm going to gradually get down to a really dark brown. I'm going to do the same in the other eye before I start blending that. When you have hooded eyelids like mine, you just have to ignore the hood and just work with it. Don't let no hooded eye stop you, girl. A really dark brown, not black, dark brown. I'm not gonna have that right on the lid, it's gonna go here. That was basically black. Like it's so brown it looks black. It's not black, it's not black I promise. And it just takes that last brown. Go back in with that lighter brown, make sure you've got a gradual fade. This is normally me, right? Three brushes that I use, and I just interchange between the two. So I'll go back. This is the medium brown. 
and this is that light of brown. So I'm not adding any more product now, I'm just blending up with whatever's left on the brush. So you see why I said ignore your crease? So my crease is here and you ignore that and you go over. So you look you've got bigger eyes. No new product, just what's there. Then I take my clean-ish and I just blend the top. This is the most important part. I do the same on the other side. So next we do the glitter, my favourite part. For the glitter, I'm going to use my eyelash glue. Don't judge me a little bit. For my under eye, I normally take this one's from the hair shop. I think it's one of the um, ones that come up with the lady in the hijab. I'm not a big fan of um, liquid eyeliner when I've got glitter because I don't have enough eyes to be doing all of that. And then I can take a lighter brown as well. That's really it for eyes, you know. Now, before I do any sort of bronzing, I like to put my facial mist again, but I cover my eyes, so. Favourite bronzer, I like to use the Benefit Hula in Toasted, and I take a tiny bit. on a shrub in my nose as well just a bit too much and I actually like to take my Fenty um, Sun Stalker Caramel Cutie it's very near to my skin shade it's not far off fluffy brush and that one just goes over more of the space I actually need to replace this soon I got this from Monaco as well I did like a massive Fenty haul it was the best day it's actually my boyfriend's birthday but girl he had a good time too went to Sephora for the first time like that was oh that was amazing went to Sephora I got tons of skincare I got loads of um I got so I got mainly Fenty makeup and then some skincare like masks but I don't want to get too much because I don't want to like something then I can't get it that easy that's why I tend not to have I know this is a video about favors but I tend not to have one I could do this video again with another whole complete set of products and none of these will be in it but these are my absolute favorites. It's like having one ice cream flavor favorite. You don't do that. I have more than one. To blush, this one is a drugstore favorite. This is the Nip and Fab blusher palette. I love brown and coral blushes on us black girls. Amazing. It just brings the sun out in our skin like so much. I only tapped it a tiny bit, that's it. I like to see my blusher by the way. I see the blush. To highlight, I'm going to take this little fluffy brush. This is from Primark. It's a bronze highlight. It's a loose highlighter. It gets everywhere and it gets messy. I normally take it on the lid and I hold the stick at the end and I just hold the stick at the end. And with highlighter, I like to go back and blend it so it blends into my skin, doesn't sit on top of my skin. Don't forget your tear ducts as well. I normally do that last. If I just need to make up popcorn, then my favourite second step is my absolute favourite ever. When it's set for about just before it's almost dry, take your beauty blender again. Actually, I'm trying to watch catfish. So then you just take it, blend it around to your skin. And then this is when you come back a little bit with the highlighter again. But I used to like really bright highlighter. Like really bright. Like as in see me from Mars bright. You know, when you do your makeup for a long time, you kind of like different things. And now my favourite part. 
eyelashes. I do eyelashes very good, like last to last thing I do. So I've got my big ass pleasers. And these are my favorite eyelashes from AliExpress. They're very long, very wispy. And my favorite eyelash glue is the Duo Latex Free. And that dries clear. I've tried every eyelash glue you can think of, honestly, I have. And the easiest way I find to do eyelashes, take your whatever tissues you have, hold it like this, take your glue, spread it across the band but spread it so it's not too thick and then at the ends put a tiny bit extra hold it just not too long just a little bit hold it when it's a little bit tacky look down to your mirror and place it like that grab the ends Honestly, that's it. Camera, when it's sitting where you want it to sit. I feel I've been doing eyelashes for so long that I can't explain how to do them. But I do find a little slanted tweezer like this is really, really helpful. Because once the band, you can hold it flat and push it onto your eye line. Then you can take the little nib at the end. And hold it up. Okay, I'll try the other one again. Tweezers, now actually hold it quite close to the band. Glue, spread it across the band. Extras at the end, so the left doesn't lift. Do you know what? There's so many methods on how to do lashes, and I do them differently all the time. And sometimes I won't use, I won't use a, what's this called? Tweezers. I'll just go straight in with my hands or my nails when they used to be longer, but now that I've cut them short because I'm a new lady, I tend just to get a pair of tweezers. And I use different types of tweezers. I use just the straight ones, skinny ones, but I find the slanted one, it will help you direct and stick on the lash how it needs to. and as you can see this lens it doesn't play hey, look how big lashes and i love big eyelashes i love them like, there's nothing that makes me happier than a big set of eyelashes and obviously not like i don't look like i'm taking off and look down into your mirror put it on the lash line come back put that on the nib back at the end glue it again hold it down when you actually when that while that's setting and drying come back to this one and honestly when i say your lash isn't going anywhere no way and then once this one is set as well hmm look around a bit come back this is when i'm just pressing my own lash band that's it <laughs> literally that's it lip time i've moisturized my lips with just a plain vaseline so i wanted to take on some of it because i'm going to post my actual favorite lip combo on a different video that i've already filmed i'm going to do my second favorite lip combo which is this really dark brown and don't be shy with it Favourite lip gloss. And a tiny touch just to brighten the middle of my lips. Girl, that is it. That's it. I'm coming to do the big reveal with the poses and all that stuff. Yeah, it's girly. Right, so I'm done. I've got my earrings. I've changed my top to something more presentable. And this is the finished look. I hope everyone enjoyed my video and I hope you liked it. And I hope you enjoyed my list of all my favourite products that I like to use and all the um, my favourite ways to do makeup as well. I don't know, I shared some tips, I shared some things that I found helpful when I was starting out doing makeup. So I hope everyone is happy and I hope you like my look. But please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I sound so ugh, but it's because I'm tired and I've not had any music. Normally I do, I never do my makeup without music, like never. But because I'm doing, because I'm recording with the audio as well, I have to kind of get used to that. So yeah, but anyway, we're here. So hope everyone likes my makeup look and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope I'm not waffling on, which I am. Thank you for watching. Bye.